a dollar, y'all. One dollar. One dollar. Okay. Y'all sleep. Y'all sleep. What's up, Tilly gang? It's your girl, Naturally Tilly, back with another video. And um, this is a moving process, so I always feel the need to kind of apologize for how I look. <laughs> because, as you all know, we're still in the process of moving. But I do want to bring you guys along with me on this journey. Um, we still have a lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff to move in. But I did go grab a few things from Dollar Tree, just some little essentials just for now until uh, the rest of the things come. And I was like, why not show them the little stuff I bought? Now you guys know we're all about shopping on a budget, <laughs> okay? So Dollar Tree was just the perfect place to go. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the kitchen stuff that I got. I got one of these cooking pans. These are perfect for cookies, or of course you guys already know that, or just baking anything. Like I've even put like flatbread, like pizzas and stuff like on cookie pans like this, and it works perfect. One book, like you can't beat a dollar, like no way. So I got that. And um, the theme that I got going right now for the kitchen is kind of like a black, white, gray kind of theme going. So I did grab, let's see if I can find the bag, y'all. Okay, I did grab um, these mittens. Well, this mitten, it says grilling and chilling. Okay, I thought it was just cute because it matched the theme of the uh, kitchen that I want. So yeah, black, gray, white, silver, this one kind of be the theme. Um, I also found these at Dollar Tree as well, the matching little pot holders. And they said the same thing. <laughs> Grilling and chilling. I thought that was so cute. I have the towel as well. If I can find it, y'all. I can show y'all how that looks as well. It's so, so cute. Okay, I don't know which bag is in, so we'll come across it later. <laughs> All right, and the next thing I got, we needed some little um, the shower curtains up for right now until the other ones come. So I just got these jet black shower curtains just for now. Um, like I said, the theme's gonna be kind of like black, gray, white, silver, kind of all through the house. Um, so yeah, I got these just for now for when we take showers. And I got the uh, actual shower curtain rings for a dollar i got two because i got two curtains so i got two of these now dollar tree dollar tree just wears it okay like come on deals man come on come on come on for that. okay and then i got uh just some little rags for the kitchen just some microfiber uh black rags it's four come in a pack four dollars so why not like i said it goes with the theme why not and then i have so many clothes y'all it's ridiculous so i had to get a bunch of hangers um i got three packs of these and i actually still need more <laughs> still need some more um but i got these for now um, it's just a pack of seven hangers. So, and of course they were a dollar, so why not? I'm gonna go back and probably get like five or six more packs, y'all, because I, I really have, yeah, I have a lot that I have to hang up. But I'm trying to pace myself because it's so exciting and it's so easy to jump ahead and try to do all this, but Rome wasn't built in a day, so I have to remember that just be patient <laughs> so I got these three for now just to get started um, right. and I have a little DIY project as well you guys let me show y'all what I'm talking about okay so what I want to do I bought this base here Um, I bought this base and what I want to do is fill it with pebbles and 
marbles and then stick some flowers in it, just some white ones for now. And then what I plan on doing is just kind of switching the flowers out every season. Um, so for right now, I wanted to just do some white flowers. So I got these, just these little flowers to stick in there for right now. Um, and it looked really cute when I did it in the store. I think it looked cute again. <laughs> But yeah, I got this to put in here as just the centerpiece for right now. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but I got this for now just to go as a centerpiece in the front room. And then what I'm gonna do is fill that bottom part. I'm gonna fill the bottom part of this with marbles and with these stones. I see those stones. So all of this bottom part is gonna be uh, stones and marbles. Um, I'm gonna take out the red marbles. They didn't have just the clear packs, which was what I was looking for, but they did have the clear and red. So I just plan on taking the red out and just using the clear and uh, the rocks for it. I'm gonna show y'all how that looks when I finish. I've done it before um, several times using other colors and stuff. So I'm pretty sure it will turn out right. Um, I also got this welcome mat, you guys. So it's just a regular, regular mat that says welcome. So I'm gonna put this out in the front of the door. Just thought that was, I mean, a dollar, y'all. One dollar. One dollar. Okay, y'all sleep. Y'all sleep. Okay. <laughs> and I also got three of these plain black mats. These are gonna go in the kitchen um, around the stove and around the sink and stuff like that. Um, I got three. Like I said, cause we're gonna do um, this little theme in there. So yeah, I needed something kind of just solid on the floor. I didn't wanna do a mat that was too busy if I already had like patterns like this going around the kitchen. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to, you know, coordinate. All right, I got this because I just thought it was so cute. They had um, several that said a lot of different things. But this one that says love, I thought it was so cute. I may put this in my bathroom. I don't know, but for a dollar, I thought it was just too cute. They had some that said boss, boss, and something else. I can't remember, but this one, the love one just stuck out to me. So I had to get that one. Um, they just got a few essentials here to go in the bathrooms. I needed some personal size soaps to go in the bathrooms. I was gonna go buy like one of those bathroom kits where it comes with like the little soap dispenser and the soap dish and all that. And then just buy an industrial size soap to keep filling that one up. But for right now, I think this was like the best and just cheapest thing to do. Just get some soap for both the bathrooms. Um, and then we can look into the other stuff later, but got some hand soap. Um, and I got these napkins, just some napkins to put after you wash your hands and all that good stuff. Dry your hands off with napkins, okay. <laughs> Plain and simple. And I also got these here, I love these little glade. Uh, what do you call these? I don't even know what you call these, but I love these. These keep your um, bathrooms really fresh, smelling fresh. I love them. Um, I thought I had another one, but I guess I just have these two. So I'll just stick these two in both of the bathrooms just to keep it, you know, smelling good, smelling fresh. Can't go wrong. Okay, and I did find <laughs> the kitchen towel. So yeah, it says brewing and chilling. Um, then I have the mat as well, it says brewing and chilling. And then I have the hand mat, it says brewing and chilling. So this is gonna kind of be just the theme for the kitchen. I have some more paper plates, because we were low. So got more paper plates. And I got, oh yeah, this Daily, Mo Daily Moisturizing uh, Lotion. It has cocoa butter and vitamin E. Anytime I see lotion that has cocoa butter or vitamin E in it, I really like to try it. 
because I do have really dry skin. So kind of like trial and error with a lot of lotions, but it's cheap. So I'm not expecting it to do, you know, too, too much. Let's just be honest. But it does have cocoa butter and vitamin E in it. So we're gonna give it a try and see how this works with our skin. All right, you guys, and that is all for my little haul today. Um, everything that I got, I spent 37 bucks. So yeah, everything I just showed you, I only spent $37. So I wanted to go to Dollar Tree first before going to Walmart because I know I would have found these same things on Walmart, but it wouldn't have been a dollar. You get what I'm saying? Like this probably would have been like three, four dollars, you know, three dollars. You know, and like that stuff adds up. And I have the same stuff, but for a dollar. So, have to shop on a budget, especially when moving out into an apartment and you know you're gonna have bills and this, that, and the third. You have to be on a budget. You have to be smart. You can't just go out there, just jump out there buying stuff. You have to pace yourself and do realize that it is a process. I'm telling you guys that, but I'm talking to myself as well, okay? <laughs> Well, that is all we have for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to continue to bring you guys along on this journey um, as the furniture rolls in and I get to decorating. <sighs> That's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. And you guys are coming along with me, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, make sure to check out my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, naturallytilly underscore. See you later. Be safe, you guys.